Hey guys, today I'm putting together another video where I'm showing how I can transform outfits from basic to really something that's more taller and slimmer looking since I'm five foot one. I really view fashion as a form of makeup where I can work with things like color to really enhance and make me feel more confident in my day. Also, I wanna work with things like proportion and the cut of the garment. So let's get started with the first outfit. For the first one, I'm going to start with a jean jacket and some navy flats and then a lighter outfit underneath with a light Henley and then some oversized, very loose fitting jeans. So I love and wear all of these pieces that I own, but not every single piece that I own is made to look taller, but there's ways where you can combine each one of these pieces to work. But for this outfit, since I'm wearing light colors underneath, it's really emphasizing where this jacket cuts me, which is right at my widest point. So I'm gonna just ditch the jacket for now. Now you'll notice that because my proportions have, you know, a longer torso and then shorter legs, this shirt is a bit too long for me. It's really making that long torso look even longer than my legs. So I'm going to tuck in my top. That's one of my main tips is anytime that you can make your legs look longer by where your, your top is going to end, it's gonna really help balance that out. So after doing that, you'll notice that these are my looser fitting jeans. I wear them, you know, if I'm feeling a bit bloated, if it's that time of the month, but I do have a really tighter option because they are a lovely pair of jeans. I think they're really flattering. I do need to get them hemmed up a little bit though. Uh, so I'm just kind of rolling them for today. But just by making that small shift into just sizing down one size on my jeans, jeans aren't necessarily supposed to be extremely comfortable. Some days they need to just be more flattering. Nobody said jeans were comfortable. No, it's not. a lie. It's a lie. So if it's we can lie. just all get rid of the idea yeah, yeah. that Debunk they're actually... that straight away. Like good jeans are not that comfortable. No, no one's having a good time in good jeans. They're horrible. They give you a camel <laughs> you toe. Can't breathe. Everything you hurts. have to like it's it's hurting here. Yeah. It's up the bum. But oh my god, you look good. It's worth it. But they look great. The thing though about lighter jeans is that they will always emphasize you there. So if you maybe want to look more, you know, curvy or, you know, wider down on your pants, you can have a lighter option. But visually, I would like to go darker on these jeans. So I'm going to swap them out with a tighter fitting and darker wash jeans. These jeans are also higher waisted, so they are Honestly, the highest rise I have in a pant, and so they're really gonna elongate, even though right now I've got like two contrasting colors, and I'll get into that in a little bit. I get a lot of questions when talking about high-waisted pants, if it's okay to wear mid-rise or low-rise, and I think that if you have proportions opposite of mine, if your legs are super long and your torso is very much shorter, then you can go for like a mid-rise and it's still gonna balance out that illusion and still look really flattering on you. Now the Henley that I chose to wear today, I specifically chose because I have it also in a navy. So I wanna show what monochrome can do. This is one of my favorite tips because instead of virtually making two squares stacked on top of each other in the colors, you're going to create one long rectangle that's now going to just make a solid line from your shoulders down to the end of your pants. So that's always one of my tips to lengthen and elongate and anytime that you can do that, then it's going to stretch the illusion of how tall you are. So you'll notice that my top is untucked at first and I wanted to do that so that I could illustrate the illusion of monochrome. So if you're just one of those people who's like, I don't enjoy tucking in my top, you don't have to if you're going with monochrome. You're still going to have that long illusion. But for me, I'm pear-shaped. So if I'm displaying my smallest point, then that's going to really work for tucking in my top. So what's really happening here is I've got a navy outfit, white ankles, which is proof I need to go on vacation, and then I'm wearing really dark shoes. So that color blocking still applies when it comes to footwear. So because I want to expose my ankles here, I'm gonna go with a skin tone shoe. This is one of the first tips I ever did with this series, and I'm still wearing these shoes, they're amazing. So they're skin toned and they're pointed. Uh, so what's really gonna help if you wanna wear flats is that you can go with a pointed toe that's gonna add a few inches visually. So those shoes really 
work if you're one who just does not want to wear a heel or maybe just that day you're not necessarily feeling like you want to wear a heel that's a really great tip but because this outfit could be so much more elongating by wearing a heel I want to just show that for illusion and illustration sake so these are ankle boots that's gonna really help already compared to like a knee length boot um, just visually to elongate my legs and then also having that skin tone color is gonna help and then adding the heel inevitably somebody is going to see the intro of this video and be like oh she just adds heels you know problem solved of course that's how you look taller but there's so many other little aspects that come into play with an outfit like this um, so just seeing the before and after I think is going to help so much but first I want to add a jacket so originally I started out with a jacket that hits me right at my widest point but I also want to show a different jacket something that is a lot longer if you want to look taller with a jacket, the best way that you can do that is by going with a really long jacket or else a cropped jacket. So this is hitting me right at my knee. Ideally, I'd like to have a jacket that's going a little bit above or below my knee, but this is working just fine, especially since it's a thinner jacket. It's also monochrome, so it's going to blend in with the rest of my outfit. And then I'm going to add a scarf that's also much longer than a normal scarf would be. Um, just something that could really lengthen and keep those long lines flowing. For this next outfit, I wanna have a striped shirt. I wanna have some black pants and then some ankle boots that are black as well. There's plenty of ways to make this better. I'm sure you already have a few guesses as to how. So right away, I'm going to tuck in that top. You'll be able to notice that these pants have big pockets. Those pockets start a little bit lower, so they at least emphasize that the waist is smaller than the pockets themselves. Um, but this outfit could be so much better in general. These pants are cropped up, so they're going to expose more of the black, white, black thing that's happening here um, with showing my ankles. So I wanna add some socks to make that more of an elongated look. So now all of a sudden, this black line is going from the top of my pants all the way down to my toe. So that's gonna help so much. I could also create this long line by having a pant that isn't cropped and have it go all the way to the ground. So these pants are just maybe an inch too long. I tried to get them to the tailor before the video, but my tailor sadly has closed her doors. And I just wanna emphasize anytime that you can make an outfit be hemmed up just a little bit to really work for your proportions. That's how outfits and pieces should be worn. So this would have been even so much better. The power of tailoring is incredible and it's really cost effective for the cost of the outfit compared to that. So I just wanted to say that if you're working with proportions, if your outfit is something that's perfectly tailored to you, it's gonna help so much. The thing that I do like about these pants is that they're not only high-waisted, but they have enough stretch to them to where it's really going to highlight curves. And still with curves, you have you know wider points and slimmer points. So this is going to accentuate that. Um, I love having curves. I love working with that and not hiding those necessarily. Next, one of the tried and true principles to looking taller and slimmer is to not have horizontal stripes. If they are horizontal stripes, it's okay to work with a thin stripe because then at least there's not like too much contrast but I wanted to try a different top to really have the same sort of look and design without necessarily having a stripe. So this top is color blocked. You have white on top and then it breaks off to the black, which is going to make your legs look even longer. So it's breaking much higher than even my high-waisted pants. You don't need to tuck in a top like this, but it is going to help if you can at least like roll it up a little bit Either way, it's totally fine. Of course, what's going to make it even better is that monochrome look. So I wanna swap it out with a black sweater just for illustration. So now I've got a very long line. I've got tall boots, which are hidden underneath really long pants. And then I'm carrying that black line all the way up to my shoulder. So even though I'm five foot one, this outfit is very lengthening compared to what it was at the very beginning. Something I've really been experimenting with a lot is athleisure. So today I'm wearing hoodies, sneakers, leggings and an oversized jacket. So I love this jacket. It's so extremely comfortable. It works well if you just are traveling and you want to just cozy up and be so warm and everything. But the problem here is that the faux fur is tracing where my widest point is. It's also extremely oversized, extremely loose, I'm not working with my proportions at all. So I want to swap that out today. I'm gonna to just remove it for now. And underneath, I'm wearing a hoodie that's cropped up and that works perfectly. And then I'm wearing high-waisted leggings. 
So the combo here is okay, uh, but it could be better. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to tuck that up a little bit um, and just expose more of my leggings. The cool thing about a hoodie is that it's going to add more weight to my shoulders where I'm really a lot smaller than the rest of my body. So that's going to make more of an hourglass illusion than say pear shaped. Uh, so that's gonna work for me especially. But what I also wanna do is swap out that top. Again, monochrome, we're gonna see what happens here. So that top is now a black hoodie and then I'm just carrying that line all the way down to my ankle. I'm not going to be switching out the shoes for this outfit, but I have a really handy trick. So if you have shoes like sneakers that could easily conceal this, these are amazing. They're little tiny one inch riser inserts. The cool thing about them too is that they're going to make your shoes more comfortable. They're a lot like orthotics where you've got just a little bit more of a gel cushion in your shoes. So I like to wear these four heels to make them more comfortable, especially like tall boots um, but for today I'm putting them in my sneakers these are sneakers that I very much treasure I don't wear them for heavy workouts um, but they are just a beautiful look for an athleisure outfit so having little inserts like this you know they don't cost very much money and they're going to add a little bit of extra height to you so that's what I'm doing for this outfit it's subtle but it's adding an extra literal inch to my outfit and finally for the jacket choice instead of having that oversized faux leather jacket before I'm going to opt for a cropped jacket so this is a leather moto jacket and it's gonna look really good with a hoodie because the hoodie is just gonna add more emphasis to my shoulders it's and then the jacket's gonna cut me right at my smallest point and then what's underneath is just black leggings so I've got a really long line that's happening here with monochrome and then I'm not even gonna worry about if the sneakers are or the different color from my legs or anything they are very close to the color of my legs even though they have some black accents and then I'm just giving those risers to really add some literal height. So that's what's happening with this outfit. It's really cool how you can just still work with a lot of thought process on an outfit that's athleisure and comfortable and seemingly effortless. But there's just little tricks like this that you can put in your back pocket and maybe make your outfits look even better and more put together every day uh, so you feel more confident. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed these three outfits. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, especially if you want more Look Taller videos. And I guess I will see you next time. You got